Let's bring in tonight's legal experts to debate. Criminal defense and civil rights attorney Brian Claypool and former chief nominations counsel for the Senate Judiciary Committee, Mike Davis. Gentlemen, thanks so much for being with me. Mike, take a listen to the former president's attorney on our air just a couple hours ago. I think that they were astute in their filing today. I'm, I'm proud of the legal team that brought this up. I think the fact that they did put this picture, as uh, Mr. Turley mentioned, was more for the public eye, and that is exactly what we're not supposed to do. It's not about the public impression. It's about justice, and that is not at all what we've seen out of this administration right now. So, unfortunately, we're seeing a lot of uh, public play. So she doesn't like the fact that the DOJ released this photo, but as far as I can tell, for the last two weeks, the whole Trump camp has been arguing that they want more transparency. They want everything to be put forward for the American people. So why the change? Well, I don't think there's a change here. I think what we're seeing with the Biden Justice Department is they are investigating non-crimes. The president of the United States had the absolute constitutional power to declassify any record he wanted. He had the statutory authority under the Presidential Records Act to maintain That's a personal debate. Power. And so the the so it, there's a, there are non crimes here, and uh, the the fact that they're invested the the fact that they're the, the this judge Judge Cannon down in the Southern District of Florida is inclined to appoint a special master in this case indicates that this judge sees that there's that there's improprieties in this case that we had the Biden Justice Department go to a biased judge magistrate judge Bruce Reinhardt and get a warrant an unprecedented unnecessary unlawful warrant he just recused from President Trump's civil lawsuit on June 22nd because he has a 2017 Facebook post criticizing President Trump's personal integrity what changed over 6 weeks to make his personal bias go away under 28 USC uh, 455A and uh, uh, Canon 2 and Canon 2 are the judicial canons. Again, Judge Cannon recognizes this. This is why she said that she's inclined to appoint a special master. Uh, Brian, is that your reading of the appointment of a special master? Well, Jillian, what I wanted to talk about is, is really renaming the Department of Justice the Department of Hypocrisy, because just a few weeks ago, they came out and they said unequivocally, we do not want the, the community or the country to see this affidavit in support of a search warrant. We need to to not compromise this criminal investigation. Remember all that, right. Jillian? Yeah. We, we cannot compromise anything. Now they do a full 360 after Trump files a motion for a special master, and they did something that I think is reprehensible. And it's borderline not ethical as a prosecutor to try to litigate this case in the media. And that's what they are doing in these documents they're filing. Just so your viewers know, any document filed in court in a civil criminal case, unless there is a seal on the document, is accessible to the public. You know very well. Well, but they that say, Brian, DOJ that it's evidence. So it was submitted along with, you know, this, with Jillian, the documentation. This, this alleged evidence has. Jillian, this alleged evidence has nothing to do with the determination of whether to appoint a special master. It's completely irrelevant, and it's just it's a smear right. campaign. You should not be you should not be posting pictures of photographs, top secret, on the floor for the public to see. That that's that 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 you you are creating an appeal down the road if Trump is indicted and yeah. prosecuted. It's I see. Completely so irresponsible. One. Yeah, one last point too, okay. Jillian. Look, look, a obstruction of justice it requires willful behavior, intent to 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 impede justice. Right? That's that's why Hillary Clinton was never prosecuted because the DOJ reached the same conclusion there. Here, are you kidding me? If President Trump wanted to impede this investigation and was acting willfully, he would have shipped these documents off. To All right, a private island somewhere in the Bahamas and bury them under the ground. That's all speculative. I want to make sure that we get Mike in here uh, before we run out of time. Um, Mike, it sounds like Brian was saying that if the photo of the intel, the classified intelligence, was released at a different time, that might be acceptable. What do you make of that? The timing. Well, is actually, off. if you if you look at the photo, it's actually it's there. It's the government has created this evidence with this photo. The, the, that was not how the Trump records were found in Mar-a-Lago, and that was very clear in the government's response. You mean uh, they response. were found inside desk drawers, and they listed cabinets, and so they kind of laid them out, we think, on the floor to take this photo. 
and it puts off the impression that that Trump would recklessly have these records just lying around on the floor of Mar-a-Lago. Mar That's inappropriate. Mm, nice. All right. Well, gentlemen, we got to leave it there. Could talk to you two all night, but thank you for sticking up with us. We really appreciate it. Thank you.